Hey, everybody, how you doing? Um, okay, so this is actually something I'm going to make for the end of time, and it's going to be the hopefully definitive video, and I say that with a lot of hyperbole, but it's actually not going to be that complicated, but the, vid the video talk about how to make a news video or digital news writing, okay? Um, I think a lot what's happened in the years I've taught this and everything is that people overthink. Um, maybe they see other stuff that other people do, and they Others have been doing video for a while, maybe because they've had other classes or they've had they've done stuff on YouTube, they've played around with programs a lot more. So what I'm really looking for is just something, whenever I ask for a video, it's something very simple. And what it's supposed to do is not supposed to tell necessarily the entire story of things, okay? What it's typically supposed to do and when it's part of a news media package, it's supposed to provide an extension to a larger story, okay? To give an example, you know, what I typically do in digital news writing is I give out some large issue story as I did one semester where I had people rewrite a press release about marijuana legalization. And then I had them do a video that served as a sidebar or an extension to that larger story. And that sidebar extension was getting one person's reaction to it. Okay. That's it. Um, so how do we go about that? Well, It's actually like something that has really just requires a very simple outline, okay? Um, and let's see what we have here is, um, again, I think there's a lot of overthinking involved, but there's something that I would really recommend that before you even do anything is just actually doing that very simple outline, okay? Um, now, it, it actually, it's not exactly a rep, replication of what you would do in terms of a written news story, obviously, in terms of his outline, but it's similar. Because again, what you have is you essentially have two things. You have a B-roll and you have an interview, okay? So again, there's really no overthinking involved here. It's just, that's what it is, okay? Um, so you have two things that are involved. It's the B-roll and the interview, okay? The interview is simply that, talking to somebody, <laughs> okay? Just talking to somebody, okay? But also, as I've mentioned in classes presently and classes past, framing the shot so it's not just a person's face like this, okay? So it's taking up the entire, I hope you were seeing my, let me do it here this way then. So it's not like this, okay? All right, it's actually showing essentially a frame with something in the background, okay? It may not, it may be a loose connection to the entire story, but what it's doing is it's providing the answer to the question where, okay? Maybe it, or even what, like it maybe could be part of that person's personality. Like if you're interviewing me about, let's say, just, I don't know, working from home and everything, okay? One of the things I like to do is I like to go to the beach. So maybe you would actually film me in front of actually like, actually sitting in front of this beast picture. And it kind of tells part of my story about being stuck in, in a pandemic, which is what we've done in 2020 and 21. And, you know, how I deal with it. And one of the ways I try to deal with it is by, by getting out and going to the beach. So this, you know, picture becomes relevant and it becomes part of the scene, it becomes part of the frame, okay? All right. But the main thing actually is just what's said in the interview, what's talked about. And what I'm looking for there is just some consistent piece that just basically, just like the writing is supposed to do, stays on one track, stays on one string from beginning to end, you know, just answers questions. You know, if we're going to talk about pot legalization, why do you think it's a good thing? How would it impact you? Okay. Now, we don't have to have to ask, ask every single question in the world because typically a, a video runtime is only like two minutes. So, um, so it's just a matter of just trying to get some, you know, general feeling about how somebody feels about a particular issue. Okay. The B-roll is, is provides more of the where, okay? What it does is it provides essentially transitions in the, in, the, in, the, in the actual video flow, okay? And sometimes people will narrate over it. It's not required, though. Sometimes people will just let it speak for itself, okay? So there's no heavy-duty requirement there. It doesn't have to be narrated. It, you know, sometimes you might have a professor who actually might require it, but in my class, you don't, okay? So... So you have those two things, B-roll and interview. So how do you arrange that in terms of a outline? Well, actually, typically, to give you an idea of setting, okay, 
A video starts with B-roll, okay? All right. So that's probably a good like 10 seconds, probably. The first 10 seconds of your video. Again, if you want to talk over and provide narration, that's fine. If you just want to let it speak for itself, that's fine too. And again, I don't have big demands for that in my class, okay? Um, if you're interviewing somebody, I typically would say like, well, just maybe one of the things you might want to do. And he asked me, is like, what you want to provide as a setting or answer to the where? Well, I say maybe like film the outside of their apartment or their dorm or something, especially if it's like Rutgers, if, you know, you want to maybe show a little bit of the activity. A lot of times we do, we do when we do these videos, it's actually maybe something about Rutgers student life. So maybe you want to show a little bit of that student life by showing a little bit of the outside. To, and again, panning is a bad idea because it actually will blur the actual vision of the shot, okay? This may be just kind of showing one setting here, or one setting here for just about 10 seconds. The idea is to provide diversity in the content, you know, so you're not just looking at the same face all the time, okay? Then the next thing you do is the interview, okay? And maybe that's like 20, maybe even to 40 seconds, okay? You have them maybe answer the first question you might have. Okay. Again, this, we're working with a two minute video here. So this is how long it probably would take. Okay. So right now that's probably your first, maybe up to a minute we're talking about. Okay. Of the video. Then you kind of mix it in a little bit with another B-roll shot. Again, maybe another 10 seconds. Okay. Maybe another piece of landscape in the area that shows a little bit of the wear. Okay. And then you go back to the interview. See? And maybe that's like 20 to 40 seconds. So, you know, actually, basically what you have at this point, you don't have quite 20, 20 you don't have quite two minutes. What we have is essentially 10 second B-roll, go splice to the interview, go back to the B-roll, show more scenery of the area. Then you go back to the interview. And then what you do is you probably would end with B-roll. Okay, so this is actually like what would be a perfect outline for essentially a video. That's all you really have to do, okay? And if you actually, I mean, you could add stuff to this, say like, here's what I plan to do for my own beer, my first B-roll. Here's what I plan to have, what section of the interview I plan to have for this part of the, part of the video. Here's what you could, you know, what B-roll I plan to have for this part of the video. Here's what section of the interview I plan to have for this part of the video and the B-roll. That's it, okay? And the idea here, again, is to provide not just one, something that looks like a job interview, not something that looks like somebody talking on a YouTube randomly or something like that but to actually provide some layers, some context, okay? By showing more of the where, the, the environment you're, they're surrounded by, you're showing a little bit more of the person, you're showing a little bit more about what they live, and you're adding layers to the story. It may not seem like much, especially if you're just filming somebody's driveway or somebody's like, <laughs> you know, cars passing by their street or something like that, but it tells a little bit of something. It's better than just having a face and a camera, okay? Let me show you an example. I mean, many of you have submitted, over the years, I've submitted great videos and, and, and many people, many, many of my students, but I'm actually really just looking for me essentially the simple video, okay? Um, this was submitted during the spring of 2021, and I wanna show you exactly like how this particular student did it, okay? You can ignore this part, I guess it's just part of the uh, software he's using, okay? But again, it just follows that very simple flow of B-roll to interview, to B-roll, to interview, to it may not be exactly that. Maybe it doesn't have the exact last B roll or something like that, but it's close to it. Okay. So let's look at it. Okay. Here's a B roll. Okay. See how, see how the shot is still? It's not panning. This is actually the Rutgers environment here, right here. Well, it's not Rutgers. I'm sorry. It's New Brunswick. So it's the hub city. So it's really a little bit of the setting. It's obviously going to be, we're assuming probably some sort of a student or somebody lives in the area. It's a part of their being, okay? Nothing wrong with maybe mixing up a little bit of the B-roll too, if you wanna do that, you know? But this also, you see here, this also connects to the actual story in this particular case, it's reaction to the marijuana legalization, okay? This is actually one of the stores actually might benefit from that. <laughs> and this is also could be part of this, the person who's interviewed in this story, this could be part of their environment. Again, adding layers to the whole story, the, the interview. So, you know, having them actually start talking when I'm introducing themselves, that's fine. Um, okay. Sophomore at Rutgers, and 
having them introduce themselves as a Rutgers student, that's fine too. You see that, you know, B-roll is probably a little bit longer than I would have made it, but that's fine. The first, actually the first 10 seconds were essentially the street, next 10 seconds were the vape shop, essentially. Um, you know, I'm fine with this actually, as far as like a frame is concerned, okay? Because this is, looks like some sort of dormer apartment, right? The shovel bed, a bed, it looks like something that's very small. You know, rule of thirds here, okay? Him, I mean, the shoveled, uh, you know, blanket and bed, okay? Three things, layers. It's not just him and that's it, okay? There's actually a room here. There's actually a setting here, okay? Again, adding layers to the story. Any little bit of biographical information to the story, okay? Let's hear what he has to say. I think that the legalization of weed can only be good for the state of New Jersey because right now there's a bunch of like cash flow and businesses and stuff that are operating outside of the state's jurisdiction. And so by legalizing it, then the state has the power to like tax all of those sales. Um, and, and I just think that like they can make money that they're not making right now. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so he talked about, let's say about 30 seconds there. That's fine. That's probably a good length right there. I mean, you pretty much got, it was very simple what he said, you know, how he, personally views it would be beneficial to the community that sort of thing maybe not necessarily to himself that's great very simple interview very simple answers now we go back to the b-roll see it's probably around that same time i talked about it's essentially like you know 10 to 20 seconds for the first b-roll about 20 to 40 seconds for the for the interview now we're back to b-roll there's the setting so maybe this is around his area or something you know Again, I mean, we want to try to think of rule of thirds for also the B-roll, too. I mean, there's probably more than thirds here. There's fifth, sixth, and seventh. There's a bunch of houses or a street. You know, looking like, you know, he's talking about revenue, bringing revenue back into the community and stuff like that. And you look at the community here, and it doesn't look very good, okay? So, you know, you could think a little bit outside the box here. Think about how maybe this B-roll, again, could connect not just him, but also what he's saying, Okay. He likes to kind of switch, you know, scenes, which is fine. But also what's great about it is that he also is not panning. He's just giving me one scene. That's it. Of course, maybe what he's going to say has something to do with people going to jail. And now, you know, marijuana legalization brings about social justice. pretty widely used drug, but in highly policed areas, there's a bigger chance that you're going to get in trouble for using it. Uh, and that doesn't really reflect very accurately on like usages across demographics. And so I think that by legalizing something so commonly used, uh, there can only be positive benefits for criminal justice. That was pretty good getting that uh, <laughs> getting that police car going by again, connecting the social justice. Probably the party interview was probably a little bit short. I might have gone maybe another 10 seconds there or something. But so that's it. Basically, let's just look at that much basically right there. I think what he did was he actually you know, he showed more scenes. Um, I probably would have gone a little bit longer on that second part, but there it was. B-roll, interview, B-roll, interview, B-roll. Okay? Again, B-roll, interview, B-roll, interview, B-roll. That's all you need for a video assignment for my class, okay? So let's just please, please keep that in mind. That's all you need. I'm trying to keep that frame of the rule of thirds as much as possible. Again, not looking for Scorsese, okay? You know, not looking for WNBC TV in New York, okay? It's looking for something simple, something easy to explain, something easily clear, something that's clear, and something that actually basically is consistent, okay? And simple, all right? Thanks very much, guys, and I'll be talking.